Hi, we're Jackie and Bobby with Ascension Presents. Today we're going to talk about Fat Tuesday. Lent is just about here. And how do we do Fat Tuesday well? How do we do this day before the season starts well? Watch ahead. Well, I'd say, for, first of all, what's Fat Tuesday? Mardi Gras. Okay, so Mardi That's Gras the means. French translation. <laughs> oh, Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Interesting enough. Carnival, which also can be synonymous with the, the, festiv the festivities, means carne vale, farewell to meat. Sad day. Sad day. But again, it's <laughs> a day of, of feast, enjoy it up, and because we're about to, why? Because we're about to go into a season where we're offering up these good things. So how do we do Fat Tuesday well? Because I think we hear Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras, and sometimes it lead, like the vision we have is one of debauchery or <laughs> yeah. excess yes so how do we do this well so number one you can absolutely have fun and be holy at the same time <laughs> like they're they're what? not exclusive like not have to get drunk not live yeah, in debauchery but also glorify God in the celebration so that means eating great food you know drinking in moderation if you are of age um, and having a good time with your friends. It doesn't mean you have to get drunk. In fact, that's a, that's a sin. Be creative, have a fun group of friends over, um, and, and yeah, enjoy great food, enjoy great drink, it's, and be holy while doing it. Yeah, it's difficult sometimes for us to find moderation. We either it's nothing or it's way too much. And yeah. so to enjoy the good things of the earth, especially if you're going to give up certain things for Lent, like meat or alcohol or different entertainment, like, it's okay to, to enjoy it, but gluttony is a sin. Gluttony is a misuse of yeah. the body. Feasting doesn't mean binging, and feasting yeah. doesn't mean gluttony. So number two would be that gluttony is a sin. Yeah, and we throw the word binge around. It's pretty commonplace now, but it's not like a good thing because we mean by that we're doing something excessively. I binge watch a series means I'm, I'm watching maybe a little like way too much within one evening or with, within one weekend, it, it implies that almost gluttonous overindulgence. Because sometimes we excuse it. Or within a Catholic culture sometimes, it's like, oh, we can drink. It's okay to drink. And right. It's, an, it's it, trying to excuse or rationalize um, drinking too much. Yeah. And that's dangerous. St. Paul warns about that. When we become inebriated to the point where we're, our mental faculties are lowered, to that of the animals, we're doing a disservice to the body, the gift that God has given us. And third, lastly, presumption is a sin. Now, what is presumption? It's the uh, assuming God's mercy, that if I go over the line, oh, God's merciful, God's loving, he'll forgive me. It's that conception of God as this fun uncle that just wants me to have fun and get away with, you know, get away with whatever you want. And, you know, everyone slides into heaven in the end anyway. You didn't kill anyone. But that, ironically, is a sin. <laughs> That's presum presumption. <laughs> presumption, to presume God's mercy, to say, yeah. well, he'll forgive me, therefore I'll go over the line. Now that could be, again, gluttony, that could be lust, that could be theft, that could be any, any of the sins. To presume and know the love of, again, if, if I know and love someone, I'm not going to try to, to go over the line. I'm not trying to go and abuse the relationship. And right, I'm not going to say... Oh, I'm going to cheat on Bobby because I know he'll forgive me. That would be ridiculous. Like, and that's what we, sometimes we do that with God when, with presumption. Like I know I would have friends in high school who would get drunk on Saturday nights because they knew, oh, I'm going to mass and God will forgive me. It's like, is that how you, that's not a relationship. Like that's not a healthy, good relationship. Again, you wouldn't do that in a marriage. Assume like, well, I'm going to offend this person because I know they'll, they'll, I know they'll forgive me. That's the sin of presumption. So when or, it comes to... Yeah. When it comes to Mardi Gras, we're not going to be like, well, I'm going to drink and get, or I'm going to get drunk and I'm going to, you know, overeat and we're going to do crazy things and <laughs> other things that, you know, we don't have to name, and, but. And God will forgive me. And God will forgive me on Ash Wednesday. It's like, no, because the whole point of repentance is that you're actually sorry, meaning you're going to try to not do it again. It doesn't mean you're presuming that, oh, well, I'll just keep doing it and God's going to keep forgiving me. That's not the point. Yeah, even with habitual sins, oh, I know confession is on Saturday, therefore I might as well get a few more sins in before right. then. You know, that we have to watch out for that. That's dangerous. That's God. It, yeah, that is presumption yeah. um, because we may die before we get there. We may die before we get to confession on the next time and then we are 
piling up um, the sins upon our souls. Like we're just piling that on, assuming God will forgive us. But again, I would not abuse that relationship with my wife. I'm not going to abuse that relationship with God. God is merciful in that he knows our fallenness. He knows the inclination to sin and so is always there to receive us back in confession when we have a contrite heart. But we have to watch out for the attitude of, oh, God wants me to have fun. You know, I'll go to confession later. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check out more resources to make your Lent fruitful and uh, grow deeper in love with the Lord. From all of us at Ascension Presents, God bless.